Welcome back guys. Uh, today I'm taking a look at uh, the new Voyager Linux Gamer. Uh, it's a gaming oriented distribution. It's relatively new. Uh, I haven't noticed it before but I was on the Voyager website and I noticed that uh, they had a Gamer edition and Obviously, it's geared towards gamers. It comes with uh, a lot of gaming-related uh, applications. Steam, Wine, Wine Staging, Wine Tricks. Uh, there's a Game Manager, Gnome Twitch. Uh, and so, I thought I'd take a look at it and see how it ran. Uh, so far, no issues whatsoever. I'll go through the installation uh, in a little bit of detail with you so you can make a decision on whether this might be something that you'd like to try. Um, these con keys come standard. There is a, a date and time, RAM usage, hard drive, my hard drive usage, and CPU usage. And so uh, CPU usage is a little bit high because uh, I'm, I'm at making the video. Um, so I've got the camera going, I've got Kazam going. So, um, but being that it is a gamer's distribution, I would assume that you guys would have the necessary resources to be able to run it. Now, uh, let's see, if I pull up task manager uh, it's about 20% of CPU and 5% of my memory I have 32 gig on this machine so that would be roughly about 1.6 uh, gigabytes of memory uh, I don't have any games loaded uh, I did install Battle.net through play on Linux with no issues whatsoever uh, Steam is installed. No issues with Steam. I'll go th now. When you boot up, um, this is what you'll see. I left the theme a uh, alone. Uh, the only thing I've changed is the Plank theme. I went with the default theme, and they had one of the other themes. So if you take a look, they ha they do have a lot of themes available. Uh, and you can pick whatever one you like. Uh, I happen to like the default, just plain and simple, so that's why I'm using that. You can change the icon size. Um, it's got the usual plank configuration options. Along the top right in the system tray, this uh, comes standard. It's a personal desktop calendar uh, that you can pop up and I believe it plays off of Google Calendar. Um, English US and that is for logging out, sh restarting and shutting down. I added the weather applet. Uh, this is the computer applet volume. I added Redshift, P sensor. There is the my Wi-Fi and uh, Bro Broadcom configured properly uh, on the driver manager um, installation menu. So that was no problem at all. And actually, I'm going to correct myself. Uh, Broadcom was configured and operating out of the box. I use the driver manager for NVIDIA. So Broadcom, on this Ubuntu-based distribution, uh, was configured right out of the box, no problem at all. So there's Kazam, Clipit, uh, Caffeine, Bluetooth. Uh, this is a uh, internet radio application. Now it is European based for the most part um, so I'm not sure how useful it will be. I tried to pull up a, uh, a station in Ireland and it would not pull it up. I installed Synapse Notes. There is a search option and this is nice it's a drop-down terminal on the left side 
These are different than the usual Voyager icons. Again, these are geared towards gamers. You can turn your Wi-Fi on and off. You can turn a touchpad on and off. You can hide the uh, panel. You can go into private mode. And I that's probably like, kind of like a Tor uh, browser situation. And then there's your network. And you can pull up the statistics up and down on your network. Uh, on the right hand side, again, it's gamer oriented. You have Steam, CPU, Wine Configuration, Wine Tricks. And this is that menu. I'll pull it up in a minute. It, they call it Box. Uh, there's Wine, Cody, and you can move the panel. Now, this box menu is a lot of configuration options. So you've got conkey control, plank control, colors, icons, and then you can, that's a, a fix, uh, a repair menu. And you can, as you can, as you can see, if you click on that reparation menu, you'll get boot repair, uninstaller, reset windows, reset the panel. So lots of uh, places to go for help if, if by chance you do something uh, that messes up your system. And let's see, you can turn the conky on or off. Uh, there's a plank configuration option. So it's it has a lot of configuration options that you might not see all in one place. And of course I mentioned there is Kodi, which is very nice. Now as far as up uh, applications installed out of the box, for accessories you've got all of the usuals plus a few additional. And again, the additional would be gaming related. For games, as you can see, I installed uh, Play on Linux. Steam was there, and you've got a lot of sm uh, small, kind of low consumption uh, type games. There is a game manager. I'm not familiar with it, but you can go through that if that's your thing. Um, evidently, you can go into a chat, get information on games. So that's, um, again, gamer-oriented. I'll close that out. Uh, let's see. Graphics, you've got the usual Shotwell. I, I installed Shotwell. G-Thumb and Ristretto were there. Internet, I installed Google and Ice. Everything else was pretty much all there. Multimedia, I installed GUVC View and Kazam, that's about all I installed. Everything else was there. Office, you've got LibreOffice. Uh, I installed Battle.net, as you can see up top. The rest of it uh, was there. I, I, I installed Cumulus. It is a weather uh, application. And let's see, for System, you've got the usuals. NVIDIA. I'm running 361.42. Uh, everything else is pretty much standard. Uh, th they do have a grub customizer. Um, an XF dashboard. Uh, and I'll go over the, the settings menu in a moment. But XF dashboard is there. And then you've got wine. Now if you go into your settings menu, as you can see, um, it's pretty complete. It does have pretty much any everything that you would want. Now, uh, as I mentioned, this is the default icon uh, theme. Uh, everything that you see is default except for the plank theme. But plank is there and configured right out of the box. Now. You've also got XFCE panel switch. Uh, now you can, I have the current configuration. Now you, I would, I would suggest to you, if you decide to try any of these, um, that you save your current configuration. And let's see. 
so it's this one here save the configuration and I'm gonna call it backup um, because I, I did change the the plank theme and I I did add a lot of uh, information to the system tray so if you do um, add or change anything on the panels or a dock I would create a new configuration that way you can try any of these that you like and then you'll be able to go back to the original now you've got Voyager GS minimal GS GNOME 2 Redmond XFCE 4.12 Zubuntu classic and Zubuntu modern now this comes with most up-to-date current um, Ubuntu uh, or Zubuntu application. So anything based on Zubuntu that's current will probably have this panel switch available. It's pretty nice. Uh, I'm going to leave the current configuration, but if you do install, uh, as I said, save your current configuration your, as a backup, and then you can try any, any of these that you might like and let's see everything else is pretty much now they do have XF dashboard and so there are some settings and some themes that you can go to and I'll cycle through a couple of them and you'll see that when you invoke XF dashboard uh, the appearance will change depending upon the theme that you've selected this one is kind of a uh, unity type theme and then you've got a lot of different looks so for example if you have XF dashboard Voyager X full you'll get your spaces and some choices here I'm gonna leave that one so we can pop it up from the menu and let's see if we can uh, well actually that's this menu right here you see this menu with all the dots that is your XF dashboard so it, it has some options for me it's not a uh, uh, you know useful I don't use it a lot I don't leave it set up but you might have some uh, you know some usage or something in mind and this might uh, actually play a role in your desk daily desktop so let's get rid of that and I think that's about it guys um, this is Voyager GS gaming distribution it's based on Ubuntu 1604 it's basically a Zubuntu install with the XFCE menu uh, geared towards gamers and it follows the uh, typical Voyager um, appearance configuration so it's very nice actually I'm gonna leave it on my system and I'm going to uh, use it uh, for the next week or so and see if I run into any issues but so far everything has performed properly I have not had any issues at all uh, the install was was flawless as I said Broadcom right out of the box Nvidia installed easily Battle.net no problems whatsoever through play on Linux uh, really really nice distribution so guys that is it Voyager GS gaming uh, please rate comment and subscribe and I'll see you soon take care